Today we're doing something a bit random, which is we're going to be doing One Piercing Note, a quest which is going to talk over me quite a lot, as it is attempting to do right now before I've even started it, thanks to this guy over in the top right corner, who is a very talkative guy. But anyway, I think we talked to Sister Katharina here. Yes, I've come to answer your prayers. Sure. Okay, this is a problem. There, I think that'll help. Um, yes, I'll help you. We're doing this quest f for two big reasons. Those reasons are the easy desert tasks, and the medium desert tasks. Because we'll be able to do both once this quest is done. And that will give us unlimited Narda teleports with the amulet, which will be a very nice thing to have. Very happy to get this quest out of the way, although it, it's not my favorite quest to do. Yes, I'll help you. And do. Hopefully that's loud enough, but if not, whatever. It'll be nice to only be reading one side of the conversation for once. Oh, the door's closed. How rude. Adventurer, thank Saradomen you've come. Um, what can I do to help? I've called you here for a sensitive task. One that I would prefer to deal with quietly. Without involving the church authority or the Alcarim staff. I hope I can trust you to be discreet. Of course. One of our sisters has been murdered. Murdered quite brutally. I would like you to investigate. The killer may still be in the Abbey. I last saw Sister Anna at Vespers yesterday. When she wasn't present at Compline, I went to her cell and found her body. The murder must have taken place between those times. This is the key to Sister Anna's cell, where I found her body. The cells are in the southeast corner of the abbey. I moved Sister Anna's body to the infirmary in the southwest of the abbey. I cleaned and wrapped it myself, and I've forbidden the other sisters from seeing it. You should also question the sisters around the abbey, but please do so subtly. I don't want them to know there has been a murder. This notebook will help you keep track of your investigation. Come back to me when you've examined the crime scene and the body, and spoken to the sisters. Hey, I bought a skewered kebab. I just put that in as a meme thing to see if any would buy for a reasonable price, and apparently somebody just sold one. Or, I think I put 5 GP as my offer, so that's funny. I was just curious, really. Alright, so, I'm getting the feeling that this is probably way too quiet, so I'll just keep turning it up until I'm happy with it. But, whatever. Probably, like, right there, right? I don't know why I had voiceover so low before anyway, but I did. Now, anyway, so yeah, this quest is a bit of a quest here. A bit of an investigation. Let me go ahead and get my guide, which I had accidentally closed, because I do that a lot. I'll load something up that I'm interested in, like the desert tasks instead. Alright, so. We've got the notebook. We need to go to Sister Anna's cell, which is in the southeast. It's probably going to have a highlight thing on it, I would think, right? No? Oh, wait, southeast, right. Camera is not facing the way I thought it was for a second there. Okay, can we go up here, please? It's weird whenever the stairs aren't actually clickable things. All right, so which one do you think is Sister Anna's? Is it this one, or is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. All right, so we gotta search the things. We're gonna search the Foot Locker, nothing in there. We're gonna search the drawers. There is nothing there. We're gonna inspect the window. Window is broken. We're gonna inspect the bed. A fragment of cloth that doesn't match everything and we're gonna search a bookcase which is not here oh <laughs> I was gonna say like what that is not a bookcase 
All right. So we've got that the window was broken from the inside and there's a cloth fragment on the bed. So now we want to go check out the body, which is down here. I could have done that first. I don't know. But it is going to be in one of these rooms. I believe this one under this blanket. Okay. Any clues have been lost. Face is horribly mutilated. Blunt force wound. Three stab wounds. Toes, rem toes? toes removed. I'm going to say toes cut off, and I said toes removed. Uh, Alright, so. We got four clues from the body. Yes, we did. All right, we need to speak to five specific people, which is Sister Cecilia, Sister Deborah, Sister Elena, Valerio, and Sister Katharina. Which I think Valerio is the closest one, so we will go talk to him first. It feels like I already did this quest on this channel because I did it on my Iron Man account whenever they had that free time, free membership. Um, what were you singing about? You were singing about Sister Anna, weren't you? I was. I knew her before she joined the Abbey. I tried to talk her out of coming here, but when she made her mind up about something, there was nothing that could stop her. What are you doing at the Abbey? One of the sisters here, Sister Anna. She passed away recently. I knew her before she joined the Abbey, so I've come to pay my respects. Um... How did you hear about Sister Anna's death? I had my ear to the ground. Even a religious order isn't completely cut off from the world. Shifty eyes. Um, where were you between Vespers and Compline? Not sure about that word. Um, yesterday. Oh, yesterday evening I was in Al -Qadid. I didn't travel up here until this morning. Why are you asking all this anyway? What's going on here? Sister Anna was murdered. Anna? Murdered? But why? Who would want to kill Anna? Adventurous, if there's anything I can do to help you catch whoever did this, please let me know. Alright. Goodbye. So... We got... Three clues from him, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. All right, now we need to go find the four other people who are potentially useful. That is not one of them. Oh, we need a cabbage, so I'll just grab it right now while I'm thinking of it. It's interesting how you can see this little area here, but you can never get to it, I suppose, right? Yeah. All right, Sister Cecilia. Uh, what are you rehearsing? It's a hymn to Saint Elspeth. I wrote the music, but the words are tradition. Do you know the story of Saint Elspeth and the Ripper? No, could you tell me? Saint Elspeth was a holy warrior who lived during the God Wars. She sang and played the cithara, and her music was so holy that no demon could bear to hear it. Go on. The Ripper was an assassin demon. It would strike without warning and leave its victims horribly mutilated. Stab them through the heart with terrible claws. Tear off their breasts. Zamorak sent the Ripper to attack a village where St. Elspeth was staying. It couldn't approach while she was singing, but it waited on the edge of the village. She sang for days. 
but eventually was too weak to go on. She went out of the village to face the demon alone. She thought it might just kill her and spare the villagers. She fought the demon, and it mortally wounded her. But as she was dying, Saradonin granted her the strength to sing one piercing note so perfect that it struck the demon dead. Her remains lay unburied until the present age. Then, 70 years ago, a group of holy women found them and built this abbey in her memory. That's why music is such an important part of our worship. Did the Ripper Demon come back? I don't know. They say some demons can return after being killed. But the God Wars were thousands of years ago. This quest does suffer a bit from Ripper Demons now being a Slayer task. They weren't at the time, though. Can your music repel demons? Well, I'd like to think so. But I don't think we're as holy as some cults. I hope we'll never have to find out. Um, back to my other questions. Where were you between Vespers and Compline yesterday? I stayed in here after Vespers to rehearse the choir. Oh, she doesn't say Compline, though. So I don't know how to say it yet. Um, what did you think of Sister Anna? She had a powerful voice and a rock solid sense of rhythm. The whole congregation could listen to her to keep in time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, she's dead. I, I, I think of it how much the choir needed her. I'm too single-minded sometimes. I think she kept us in time in more ways than one, though. She was our moral center. An example of holiness. We all miss her terribly. What do you know about the troubadour outside? I'm aware he's there. I think the abbess was right to forbid him from coming inside. You've got to understand, the Sithorid order considers music to be holy. It should be used for worship and contemplation, not for dancing. Dancing is so often connected with other immorality. As interesting as it would be to hear a different style of music, I should stay away. All right, I think that's probably everything. Let me see. Um, M, the three clues, that is correct. All right, so we need to go to Sister Katharina. Opposite side, right there. Hello again, adventurer. How can I help? Where were you between Vespers and Compline yesterday? I was in the scriptorium, copying a manuscript. I'm still learning how to illuminate the text. I've copied nearly the whole of the Book of Saradonin. I'm quite... well, I know I shouldn't be, but I'm quite proud of it. Perhaps you'd like to see it, after the funeral service, if, if you're still here. I'd like that. All right. I'll have to check if that's allowed, though. Come back and speak to me after the funeral. All right. What did you think of Sister Anna? She was so holy. She thought about Saradonin all the time, never about herself. I don't know if I'll ever be as holy as that. She interviewed me when I applied to join the Abbey. It, it was like she could see right into my heart. To be honest, at first, she frightened me. I'm not surprised the other applicant left after she met her. What other applicant? Another applicant came to the Abbey the other day. Her name was Isabella. She disappeared yesterday noon. She probably went home. A lot of applicants realize the life isn't for them and leave. Adventurer, if I can ask, why are you asking these questions? Uh, I'll tell her. Sister Anna was murdered. Saradomen let this happen. No, no, I mustn't ask that question. Saradomen has a plan for everything. Sister Anna would have told me off if I'd asked that question. Oh, Sister Anna. You've got to find whoever did this, adventurer. 
If there's anything I can do, anything, just let me know. What do you know about the troubadour outside? It's so exciting that he's come to visit us. I saw him smiling at me when I was outside waiting for you. I kind of wish I could go and see him dance. I used to like dancing, but I'm in the order now, and dancing isn't allowed. Okay, I think that's it. Goodbye. Let's see, we got um two clues from her. Yes, that is correct. Alright, so now we need the altar room at the east of the ground floor. Oh, is that the one I already did? Yeah, Sister Cecilia is done. Alina is the one we need next in the kitchen. The kitchen is over here. That's not her. That's her downstairs. All right. She has three clues. What is it? Oh, she's angry too. What are you cooking? Cabbage soup. It's amazing what you can do with cabbages if they're all you have to cook with. Do you have an important question, adventurer? I'm quite busy. Seems to be lying already about... <laughs> I don't think that this was all made with cabbages. Okay. Where were you between Vespers and Compline yesterday? I was here in the kitchen. Why? Where should I have been? I went down to the cellar to get some supplies at one point, but the rest of the time I was here. Actually, I noticed something when I was down there. I think someone's been stealing food from the cellar. I bet it was Katerina. Novices have to be taught discipline. I've seen her sneaking an extra cup of wine at meal times. She's the one you should be talking to. Is it cabbage wine? What do you think of Sister Anna? She's a Saradoman now. It doesn't matter what I thought of her, and it does no good to speak ill of the dead. Sounds like you didn't like her. I didn't say that, but she did cause conflict. Most of the sisters didn't see it, but I did. She was always arguing with the abbess. Arguing about what? Sister Anna thought Sister Benita was too lenient with the order's rules. Anna would have enforced silence outside of services. She'd have stopped Sister Cecilia from pausing. Prescribed melodies only. Maybe it's Sarah Doman's will that Sister Anna never got to become abbess. I don't know. It's not my place to say. So she's not the perfect person the other people say, huh? What do you know about the troubadour outside? Who they're really hyping up. I didn't even know he was there. What troubadour? They really want you to think he's the guy who did it. Music is forbidden. So if there is a troubadour outside, then Abbas Benita will send him away. I don't have time to talk about troubadours. Is there anything else you need? Honestly, I'm surprised all these people know what a troubadour is. Um, I think that's all we needed, right? We got three? Yes. All right, so now for the last one. I believe she is upstairs. Nice bell. Broken, though. All right, feet. Sister Katerina, is that you? No, I'm an adventurer. It's no good, Katerina. I can't hear you. I'll be out of here in a minute. Just need to get the, um, could you do me a favor, Katerina? The clock is 20 minutes past right now. Could you set it for the right time? All right, so we need to set the clock. Is her entire body actually under there? Sure is. They actually bothered to render it properly no it's hard to see all right so they said it was what 20 minutes fast or something what did they say set it to the 12 o'clock position So any moment now, it should... 
A bell. Right, I'm done. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were Sister Katerina. She's normally the one who comes up here. What can I do for you? Where were you between Vespers and Compline yesterday? Between Vespers and Compline. Oh, I came back up here, tried to finish this set of repairs. I was a clockmaker before I joined the Abbey. Now I'm the only one who knows how to repair the Abbey clock. What did you think of Sister Anna? A part breaks that you'd expect it to hold for years, but that doesn't stop the whole mechanism. It just sets it in a different direction. Sarah Dolman is a better clockmaker than us. What do you mean? Sister Benita was planning to retire as abbess next year. Everyone expected Sister Anna to become the new abbess. But it seems that wasn't Sarah Dolman's plan. So he's taken her away. The clock runs. Just not as we'd expected. What do you know about the troubadour outside? What? There's a minotaur outside? Have we closed the gates? They're not that strong. Uh, not a minotaur, a troubadour. Oh, yes. Uh, Sister Katharina mentioned something about that. Uh, she seemed very excited. I'm too busy with the clock to worry about visitors. It's not like I could hear his music anyway. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a bit deaf. It's spending all my time close to the bell when it goes off that did that. All right, goodbye. Let me see. Um, two new ones from Feet. Yes, that is correct. All right, so now we can go back to the Abyss. And I believe we are ready to continue the quest. This is a long quest just from listening to all the dialogue. Take a shortcut through the kitchen, because why not? You won't mind. She's got cabbages to make into pies and tomatoes. Please help us, adventurer. Yes. I finished investigating for now. You're doing a good job. Oh, what am I possibly missing? Where the applicant was staying? I missed something in her room? What did I miss in her room? I thought I examined everything that was visible. Do I have to search the bookcases outside or something? Uh, what could I have missed? I mean, I inspected the bed, the window, the drawers, and the footlocker. Um, the applicant's room. Oh, the applicant's room in the northwest, I think. There's apparently another room I was supposed to check, which I didn't realize. I think it's this room over here, maybe. It doesn't match the habits. All right, so now we got two pieces of cloth. Please help us, adventurer. I finished investigating for now. Whom do you suspect? Um. Sister Anna killed herself. Did you hear that? Quick, follow the sound of that scream. Oh, all right. Scream. I believe it's related to like the basement or something. I don't actually know. There's not much of a sound to follow from the east. Yeah, the northeast. Go downstairs. You've got to protect us. The demon is back. 
what's happening here. Oh, great Sarah Doman. Sister Eleanor. I saw it happen. It was the demon. It was the Ripper. Sister Cecilia, go back to the oratory. Get yourself cleaned up. Adventurer, there's no point in my trying to keep this from the sisters anymore. I'll let them know what's happening. Please, Adventurer, investigate Sister Eleanor's murder, then talk to me in my study. All right. Got another murder, and we're not even done with the first. All right, we got a lot of information we're writing down. Holy cow, that's a lot. What else can we investigate here? Oh, looks like we're investigating from all the way over here, apparently. All right, what else do we investigate? I know we investigate this. Someone was hiding in the cabinet. What else is there to investigate? I know there's probably at least one more thing, right? Maybe not, though. Let me see. All right. All right, search the robe cabinet. Okay, so now we return to the Abyss. Apparently there was nothing else in here, but there is more to search after we talk to her. Which I can do. The unfortunate thing is I don't know when we'll actually get around to doing the tasks. Because we'll be doing safe cracking on Monday, I would assume. So it'll probably be another whole week minimum until we can get around to it. Oh well. Adventurer. Thanks, Sarah Doman, you're still here. Please tell me you're making some progress. Um, I need the key to Sister Elena's cell. Alright, so now we have the key to her cell, whichever one that is. Because the game's not highlighting the individual cells. It started off doing that at the start of the quest, but now it's just highlighting this whole place, which is not particularly useful. Alright, so which one do you think it is? Is it this one... No. Is it this one? Yeah. Alright, we've got another dead person's... Oh, room to search. Nothing in the footlocker. A bundle of letters. And nothing there. What do their letters say? The day before Sister Anna's death. And her lover was visiting. Secret passage in the kitchen. Valerio. Oh, what a suspicious thing that is. Valerio was actually inside the building. The night before the murder. What could it mean? I've never noticed this hymn book before. Interesting. I assume it has the song they sing in text form. No, search this one. There's a hole in the wall, large enough for a person to squeeze through. Disturbed recently. Alright, now we talk to Valerio. It's a pretty big hole in a wall for nobody to have noticed. Look at this, Sister Catherine is out here being naughty. Greetings, traveler. Were you having an affair with Sister Elena? I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you asking this? Um, I found letters from you in Sister Elena's cell. I didn't write any letters. They must be from someone else. Sister Elena is dead. Elena is dead. Oh, Elena. She wasn't happy. She could have been so much more if she had the courage to leave. I met her when she came down to Al Qarib to buy supplies. We started writing to one another, hiding letters with boxes of food. I came up to see her last night. There was a hole in the kitchen wall that she used to smuggle me in. That's how I learned that Anna had died. Elena told me. I wanted to publicly pay my respects, so I snuck back to Al Qarib and came here with my band. Adventurer. You don't think Eleanor could have been killed because of me? 
Well, the victims were people I knew. Could someone have found the letters and... If there's anything I can do to help bring this killer to justice, let me know. I'll let you know. Alright. We're not gonna bother Katharina yet. Katarina. However they want you to pronounce it. Alright, so now we go speak to Sister Cecilia, which I believe is up here, maybe? I don't know. People have moved around a little. Yes. Don't worry, I'll protect you. There's nothing you can do, adventurer. You should leave. Maybe it will spare you. Everyone in the Abbey is dead already. She's not very happy. Can you tell me what? Can you tell me exactly what happened? I. I heard the screams. I heard Sister Elena screaming. So I went down the stairs to see you. Like in the story, it was wrapped in rags and it had its huge claws. And oh crap! My phone is being noisy. It was dragging her feet with its claws. Why would it do that? Then it saw me. It turned its head. It looked at me. I couldn't see its face, and as far as I knew. If I'd seen its face, I think I might have died of fright. It pushed past me. Its blood. Sister Elena's blood on my robe. And then it ran up the stairs and away. I like how they add little details like that just to make you suspect everyone. We can't let it defeat us. Oh, Mushy, now is the time you give me the strength to, to not be afraid. Lady, the abbot told you what happened. This funeral service will be for two of us now. We're going to trust Sally Damon, and we're not going to be afraid. We're going to sing like Saint Elspeth, and the demon isn't going to be able to hurt us. Okay, from the top, look at me. All right, so now they're all singing. Now what do we do? We return to Abbas Benita. Who I assume is back in her place. I don't know. Yeah, she is. Get in the door, you stupid guy. Adventurer. Thank Saradome and your still. Oh, you've said that before. Um I finished investigating for now. Whom do you suspect? Um, it was Sister Anna. Sister Anna was the first victim. You had better have a good theory about how that makes sense. Whoever the killer is, I'm worried that they'll strike again. I want to make sure that all the sisters are safe in the Abbey. Sister Katerina is outside dancing. I don't want to pass judgment on her, not now. But I think she'd be safer inside. Could you go and fetch her, please? Sure thing. Dance with me, adventurer. Um. All right, let's dance. Very happy to be dancing here. We'll have access to this emote after the quest. There we go, we danced. Dance with me, adventure. I already did. Abbas Benita asked me to bring you back to the Abbey. All right. I should finish copying my book of Saradomen. I'll be in the scriptorium if you want to talk to me. We made her so sad. Oh no, a cutscene. What could it mean?
Oh, guess who it isn't? Not him. Um, okay. There we go, so I think we have to open up the gate now. If I remember things correctly. The Porticulus. Three people murdered. This murder mystery just keeps getting bigger. It's no good. She's dead. It pierced her heart. Good night, sweet thing. You could have been a dancer. What was that sound? Adventurer? Oh, merciful Saradomen. Sister Katarina, is she? I'm afraid so. Sister Ten. Adventurer, Troubadour, please meet me in my office. We need a plan. All right. We're now getting him involved since he's confirmed innocent. Although we didn't tell her that, she just assumed, I guess. The killer is going to strike again unless we catch them. I'm not a member of your order, Abbot. I don't know why you would trust me here. All the sisters of my order are suspects. The two of you are the only people I have seen in the same place as the killer. So you are the only people I can trust. I will not let this defeat us. We must arrive at a plan. Adventurer, after all you've seen, whom do you now suspect? Um, I'm gonna keep going with the same option. Sister Anna killed herself. If you're right, she must have faked her own death and gone into hiding. We need a way to find her. Um, we should lay a trap. That could work. But how would we bait it? Um, a new victim. That could tempt the killer out. But who? I don't think the killer is indiscriminate. What do the victims so far have in common? They were all thinking of leaving the Abbey. Eleanor was thinking of leaving, and Katarina might have been, but I don't think Anna would have ever left. No. I've never seen anyone as dedicated to the life as Sister Anna. They were all associated with Valerio. I know about your involvement with Sister Eleanor. And perhaps the killer could have seen Sister Katarina dancing, and thought that. But what about Sister Anna? She hadn't left the Abbey for years. Ah, you do not know. I knew Anna many years ago. She was a dancing girl, part of the troupe that I joined when I was first a troubadour. Back then she was so full of life, passion. Everything she did, she threw her whole body and soul into it. Then, when we met that traveling preacher and she caught religion, she threw her whole body and soul into that as well. We wrote to one another at first and... She never mentioned you to me. All she would say was that her past life was sinful and she wanted to put it behind her. Yes, that was the impression I got from her last letters. When I met Eleanor in al Karib and started seeing her, we had to keep our affair secret, so I couldn't see Anna. I wanted to. A part of me was always hoping she'd discover us. Enough! We don't need to go through the sordid details. We've established a connection. But how does it help us? I have a dancing girl traveling with me. If we were to announce that she was joining the Abbey... I can't allow her to be put in danger. There must be another way. But she will be in no danger. She will be hiding in my camp. We can make a dummy, dress it in your robes, and our adventurer can hide nearby and wait. Hmm, but I'm not sure where. In the basement. During the funeral service, all the sisters will be in the oratory. It will be the perfect time for the killer to strike. It seems we have a plan. Valerio, you and I can handle the announcement. Adventurer, you will need to make the dummy in the basement. Once you're ready, you can hide in the robe cabinet and wait. Whether this killer be demon or mortal, 
I swear they will not kill again. Saradom and go with all of us. How do they know that the killer would hear this announcement? Like, are they going to yell it as loud as they can or something? Are they assuming the killer's hiding within earshot? Oh, whatever. Okay, so I, I wasn't actually paying attention to what I needed to do, honestly. Alright, so... We have the cabbage. We need to go down into the cellar now, apparently. This is where I thought there was more to do in there, because there is more to do in there, just later in the quest. Alright. You never really need this whole area. It's interesting. Alright, so we're gonna search the robe cabinet. We got the Scytherid robes. Which I believe if you wear these while um, resting at a musician, you'll gain prayer back. Which is interesting. It'd be a lot more useful if it was just resting in general, though. Then I'd actually use them. Is there anything else to do here? I feel like there should be more to do here. Ah, there we go. I was just not putting my mouse in quite the right spot. Alright, so we put that there, and then we can just use these on it, probably. A brown the size of a cabbage, so they even give you a hint in the thing. Bonk. Alright, we got a cabbage. Now we can go ahead and do this. There we go. Yes, that is very convincing, if they were a zombie. Alright, so now... We hide in the cabinet. Yes, we are ready. They just dance around outside. Hey, well, you definitely can't hear all this music. But it's, it's about what happened, I think. Blunt object to the back of the, the cabbage. Oh no. Ah. Uh-oh. I'm not so good at knocking people out, apparently. Maybe if I had attack 99. Strength 99. Alright. We gotta chase him around. Uh-oh. I skipped it, I think. Slightly. I don't know. I clicked multiple times. Oh. Doesn't like the singing. Went upstairs. And upstairs again, right? But can I not go up there? Or is it... What is going on here? Shouldn't I be able to see... Oh, there. Sometimes stairs don't have the right click boxes. You won't kill her. Let her go. Let me walk out of the Abbey to safety, and then I'll release her. Adventurer, don't! Who are you? I am the spirit of Saint Elspeth, Sarah Dolman's voice of justice. It's Sister Anna. She's gone mad. So the body I found. Throw in the abbey. I 
killed her and dressed her in my robe. So hypocritical because she was also a dancing girl. Um. Listen, can you hear the singing? They all loved you, the sisters in Valerio. They all loved me. No. Worldly attachment, worldly love must all be burnt away. I am the spirit of Saint Elspeth. That's your funeral. Time for you to die. Stay back. Make any move and I'll kill her. All right. Enough talk. And then we just stop talking. Alright. Well, let's just leave her. Whoa! Okay, that was not what I needed to do at all. Apparently. Thought I needed to go downstairs, though. And do this. I thought this was what you did to make her fall. Oh, you have to do that before heading up there, I guess. Stay back. Whoops. Listen, is that the bell ringing? Okay, the graphics are freaking out. Goodbye, Claws. I have no idea what just happened there. The graphics have never done that in the two or three other times I've done this quest. Um, what should we do with Sister Anna? As a good Saradomanist, sister, I cannot take her life. I'll see you downstairs, adventurer. Yes, how nice of you. Sister Deborah, she did nothing wrong. I have not been the voice of St. Elspeth. I have been the hand of the Ripper. What tipped you off on that? The fact you're dressing up as the Ripper the entire time? Please, adventurer, if you have any mercy, give me a moment to pray for forgiveness before I die. Um, all right, take a moment. Almighty Saladoman, creator and ruler of the world, have mercy upon me, for I have sinned against thee with my thoughts, with my voice and with my hands. As the voice of Saint Elspeth struck dead the demon, may it strike dead the evil in my heart. And may the harmony of the saints drown out the discord of my sin. I hear it. The holy choir. I am forgiven. Lights of Icene, lift me up. Paradomen, guide my soul to light. And then she just dies. Thanks, Sarah Dolman. It's over, adventurer. Sister Deborah told me what you did, but she didn't say who the killer was. She said you should be the one to tell us. Who was it? Who killed Anna and the others? She wanted me to have the chance to give the bad news or lie. It was Sister Anna. What? No, it can't be. She murdered the applicant and dressed the body in her robes. But why? Um. I think she was possessed by a demon. But my most trusted friend could do this. And I had no idea. Thank you for telling the truth, adventurer. But this will shake the faith of everyone in the Abbey. I can't remain as abbess, knowing that this evil could sprout in soil that I have tended. I'll look for a replacement, but I don't know how much longer the order will survive. 
I cannot offer you much of a reward, adventurer, but please accept a set of the Order's robes. They are enchanted. Wearing them will allow you to meditate on music in order to grow closer to Saradoman. And there we go, a depressing quest that really doesn't serve much of a purpose in the game, outside of introducing Ripper Demons that would later become a Slayer task. Yep. Well, we can go ahead and get this Prayer XP, and then just for fun, I'll go put on this outfit. Um, that, that's the full outfit, right? You can't even see it on me, but I'm wearing it. We can try it out. Is he a musician? Yeah, you can listen to him, so we can drain my prayer and then test it out. And I'll do this ridiculous rest thing, and there I'm back up on full prayer. And we can also go here... And holy crap, you cannot read this whenever it's against this background, can you? Um, right. Where is it? It's going to be an older one. It's from before they had five bajillion ones. Troubadour Dance. And there we go. We got the achievement that was holding us back from the easy tasks the entire time. There we go. Now I'll be able to do the rest of these later if we look. We can see, yeah, we've only got one left on that, and a bunch left on that. So you know what, let's go ahead and take care of this cuckoo ka chat that way we'll only have one thing to do for the next one, right? Because this was the entire point of this quest, was that we couldn't do the easy ones. Hey look, someone else wearing my outfit. Very nice. I own this outfit, you know? Alright. I always thought that this chat with a guy about a quest was a thing about starting a quest, but that's just the stupid parrot. This is just one of those things where you, you recap a quest in case you've forgotten about it. That's an interesting symbol thing there. Not very familiar with that, but I guess it's the Elkrid symbol. I don't know. Alright, if I'd remembered that was the parrot's name, I might have realized. Yes, we will do Stolen Heart. Alright. There we go. Grand Vizier Hassan. Grand Vizier Hassan. Who's that? Where is that? Grand Vizier. The upstairs? I don't see any Grand Viziers around here. Um... Hmm. Grand Vizier. Where are you? Are you even here? Where is Grand Vizier Hassan? I don't think he's here, is he? Like, where would he be? He's not visible here, as far as I can tell. He'd have to be upstairs or in Minifos. Should be a bit silly. So maybe he is upstairs somewhere. And I just don't know where. All the way upstairs, I guess. Maybe he's in the room where the Emperor was? I think that... No, that's the room there, right? No, he's definitely not here. Well, this is an unexpected problem. I guess we will go over to Minifos and see if he'll help us there? That's just weird. Luckily, I do know where he is in Minifos. It'd be nice if they updated that, but whatever. Alright, speed this along a little. I wasn't expecting it to be so much work just to get this done. So we were almost done in the first place. I will have to double check. There might still be an issue where I'd like have to start a quest, because sometimes they don't list a quest as a requirement. So I'll have to double check the medium ones. Hey, have I ever pet this guy? I don't know. I think so, otherwise it might have said more. I have no idea. Alright, Hassan. Tasks and quests. I've completed all the easy tasks! Yay! I'm not going to read everything he says. But we do get this antique lamp, which gives, I don't know how much XP, two, 2k XP, or 1k in invention. We'll take farming on that. 
So now we have the Desert Amulet. It doesn't do anything that special yet, but I will tell you what it actually does in a second once I get over to the, the Desert Task page. All right. When you wear it, you get two things of water from cutting cacti, which is completely useless because there is a quest now that we could do that would uh, get rid of the need for water entirely. But it also lowers Mage Training Arena prices by 2%, which is extremely useful. Um, sparkling Dung Calphites give double loot. Who does that? And you can get a bag of lost items from a rug merchant, which there is one right over here, so we can go check out what kind of junk is in there. Basically, the easy tasks for the desert set, not particularly useful outside of the Mage Arena thing. The thing is, you get an increased discount from the higher tiers, so even the 2% discount's not that amazing, just because you can get better. And why would you ever do the 2% one? You'd want to wait. Alright, let's get all the way over here to this guy. I was not expecting to spend this much time, but whatever. Um, give me the thing. There we go. We got 714 and two rocktails. That's actually surprisingly good, honestly. Well, anyway, yeah, so that is one piercing note. At least we ended it on a high note of getting a little bit of money, right? Because otherwise it's a bit of a depressing quest where a bunch of people die for no good reason. Hooray, four people dead. Oh, but anyway... I'll see you guys next time with another quest. I'm not entirely certain which one, but I'm thinking maybe Edgar's Ruse. It's important for a couple reasons. It's prerequisites for important quests, and it also gives you the uh, Trollheim Teleport, which I really, really want. Just because getting up there for, like, clue scrolls or going to the God Wars dungeon is really a pain without that teleport. Anyway, see you guys then.